Hello, I'm Alexander Ghostly, and before I start, I'd like to talk to you, just for a moment. I was told that in my last video about the pig cooker that I sounded a little... Oh, what's the word? Formal. And as nice as that is, I kinda would rather not. I mean... This is supposed to be fun, of course, and it is what I want it to be. So, I'm going to try and speak a little less formally, and I'd like to apologize if you thought so as well. Now, the design that I had to show you now is unfortunately a little late for its relevancy, but I had seen Mumbo Jumbo design a trapdoor that didn't let water through, and it reminded me of a lock system that I had designed a couple of years ago back in 1.4 and 5, I think, to use on a PvP server with a friend of mine. So. I think I'll get right on that and show it off to you now. Strange. I guess I figured out the anomaly that is in multiple of Etho's videos. Oh well. Let's continue. Let me switch over to creative mode though. This is something that I, like I said, designed quite a bit of Go to be used in a PvP server. The idea was that we were on a small island, and that we needed to be able to get in and out from underwater. The water would flood into the chamber, like a water lock should, and then you'd step in, press this button, the doors would close and it would drain and then it would open into a dry space inside, sealing the water off from going inside. Then you'd come in, copy Mumbo Jumbo, shift multiple times, and then walk outside and have a good time. <laughs> so the way that this works Not that. The way that this works was an interesting set of circuits that I think I may have come up with myself that I haven't seen before. It started down here where I will admit this is a T flip flop designed by Mumbo Jumbo using three droppers, a hopper, a comparator, and an input. The idea with this one is that the power goes into the block when it's over here, and then goes into these three repeaters, so it gives this an extended pulse. Because what I was trying to do was make it so both of the doors would be shut at the same time, and then the next one would open. This sort of did what I needed it to, but of course is fully manual. And then I realized, while of course it's very similar to the ancient T flip-flop design, mechanical redstone, my shtick, is exactly what fit in here. This is very similar to the thing that I used for the pig cooker in the last episode. 
and the block gets pushed left and right. When the block is here, the power goes through to the right side. And what you'll notice is that they're both extended for a short amount of time, and then the other one pops down. When I figured that out, I replicated it down here, and there are these two torches leading into it. And then what I noticed was slightly a little bit shaped like the Minecraft logo, which I thought was a little humorous, is right here. That feeds up into a pair of torches to power these blocks into the repeaters. And then due to size constraints, I had to, or maybe I didn't. Oh well, it's good for timing. The lines could actually just come directly, it seems. But I have them going through these torches which invert and then doubly invert and then triply invert the signal to power the doors. The buttons on the side all feed into this one circuit and then into this, which pushes down this redstone block, activating the top of this semi-T flip-flop. Oh, who am I kidding? That's a T flip-flop but the ancient design, moving the block to switch which one of these is active, switching which door set is shut. People that I immediately imagine could make use of such a thing would be XB Crafted, seeing as he lives underwater, and anyone else deciding to live underwater. Otherwise, I imagine that this would be minimally useless. However, if you had an abundance of access to fire resistance potions, I suppose that if you truly wanted to, one could put one of these at the bottom of a lava lake. That would certainly make an interesting hidden nether base. I do have this in another world as well. Where I can show it actually in use. So you find yourself in a tunnel here. Here's the lock. You step inside, press the button. It cycles and then you are outside under the water with low frames for God knows why. And then you get all the frames back and you're happy about it. I'm quite proud of this. Oh, and it looks like my night vision potion is going away now. As I was saying before I was so rudely cut off by the flashing lights of a dying potion, I enjoyed making this. It was... It was interesting to try to revive an old thing that I designed quite a while ago. I was able to compact it in many ways, and lose frames in many other ways, it seems. I'm just gonna go to the menu. <laughs> I was able to compact it in many ways, use multiple new things that I understood, things that I didn't know before, and using 
completely my own designs, which I was very surprised I managed. I designed something unique. A water lock that I hope to find use for myself in the future. I've been Alexander Ghostly. Thank you for watching, you 32 people who subscribe to me. It means a lot. More than you know. I will see you in the next one. Goodbye.